Are you looking to send over your job form submissions to Airtable automatically? Well, that is possible. So let me show you how to accomplish that on this video right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to automate JotForm with Airtable. So every time that someone fills out your JotForm, that data is going to be sent over to Airtable. So let's get started by creating our Airtable database. So let's go jump over to Airtable and depending on the workspace that you want to work with, that's what you have to select. In this case, we'll use this workspace and we're going to add a database. So in this case, we created a new base. And what we're going to do is add our columns that we're going to need for our automation. Now, this will vary depending on your use case. In this case, we're going to use, we'll use attachments. We'll get rid of this one and this one. We're going to need phone number, right? And we'll use single line text. We're also going to add the email and we'll select email for this. There we go. And we're going to keep it simple. Let's keep it this way. We're going to grab the name and the attachment that we might add for our table for our form. In this case, we'll add a file upload on our form and we're going to send it over here for attachments. We're going to capture our phone number and email. So depending on any data that you want to send over, you add the columns. So we tie one with the other. Now let's head on over to dot form. Okay. So in dot form, let's get started with a brand new form. We'll start from scratch, classic form, and let's drag in the elements that we might need. In this case, we're going to use this for demo. We'll ask for the name, the phone number. We'll add file upload, there we go, and the email. Okay, let's keep it simple. Let's use this. And to integrate, let's go into settings. We're going to go into integrations. Let's search for Airtable. Here we go. Let's go ahead and select it. And now it's going to ask us for our Airtable API key. This is needed so Airtable and JotForm know that they're going to talk to each other and it's going to grab that information or send over information. So we can head on over to the Airtable API key. Okay, this is going to show us where to go and it's going to take us to the Airtable account. Let me show you how this is done manually. So if we're on, we are on Airtable, this is what we're going to do um, before that really quickly. Just let me rename this so we can find it easily. Top form backup. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into account. Go. And here we have this generate API key. Let's go ahead and regenerate it. Let's grab it. Let's copy it. Go back to jot form. Authenticate. And there we go. Now we choose our air table. This is the list of the air tables that we have. In this case, I just renamed this one. So it was easy to find it. There we go and choose the table. In this case, we're using table one. Now, depending on the tables that you have on air table, they're going to appear here. For example, here we have table one. If I add another table, well, we're going to view it over there. This is really neat and I'll show you why in a use case in a bit. So let's go back. Now we have to tie our dot form elements to our Airtable column. So first of all, let's choose the name from our dot form and we're going to tie it to our name on Airtable. Add a new field attachments. We're going to do it with file upload on our Airtable. Again, phone number with phone number and the last one email with email. OK, let's go ahead and save it. There we go. Now it's tied. And we can go ahead and test it. Um, like I mentioned before, I'll show you a use case. If we add more tabs to our air table, we can also automate. Um, why is this useful? Let's just say that on our jot form, it's a pretty long form and we have more data and elements to it. Well, we can send some of those elements to table one and send other elements to table two. Um, use case, let's just say that we're using our air table for a CRM. Well, we might have a tab for our general analytics. We might have a tab to link our contacts. So we, we have the contact name, their email, their phone number, and we have we might have another tab for finance. So if we're selling something on a form, well, we can add another automation here to send the rest of that information to the second table or the third one or the fourth. And that's why it's really useful. 
Okay, let's complete this integration. Let's finish. And now we're integrated. Let's test it out. Let's go into publish. Test it out on a new tab. So anyone who has access to this form and fills it out, it's going to send that data automatically. So let's fill this out with my name, George Aguilar. Phone number, we'll just make it up. Let's just add a random file for this. So let's click on browse and I'll add this file, which is pretty small. 2.7 megabytes. Okay, it's uploading. Let's make up an email. There we go. And let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Let's go into our air table and here's our data automatically and practically instant. So we have the name that I just filled out, the attachment, the phone number and the email for that person automatically. Every single time that someone fills out that submission, it's going to send it to here. Now let's make that use case just in case you need to send to a second tab. Let's create a new empty table and we'll just say, um, survey. Okay. There we go. And table one, we'll keep it like that. And our survey will say, for example, question one, question. Oh, sorry. Got to get rid of this element. Delete field. We won't need those. Question two, and we'll keep it simple one line field. Okay, so let's head on over back to jot form. And we're gonna add those elements that we're going to need for that section. So let's add some two short text really quickly. Okay, there we go. We're asking two simple questions and just for use case. Okay, now we have to tie those elements to our air table. So let's go into settings, integrations, air table, edit integration. And like I mentioned before, we're going to add a new one. We're going to select the same base that we're working on Airtable. You can select another one if you like. So if you need a backup or for any other reason you want to send information to another base, that's possible. But we're selecting the, the first one that we're working with and we're going to add it to the new tab, which we named survey. And that could be a use case. OK, so question one is going to be tied to, for, for example, how did you find out about us? Question two is going to be filled out with. How much you sell? Let's go ahead and save it. Complete integration. Let's test it out. Let's go into publish. Let's fill this out with um, new information. We'll say Johnny Bravo, fake phone number, same file. Test two at test. How did you find out about us? We'll say Google. How much do you plan to sell? Um, I don't know, $100,000. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. Let's go into our air table. Oops, here we go. Table one. Here's the new information. Johnny, the attachment, phone number, um, the new email. And on our tab for survey, we've sent the information from question one and question two, which is Google and the amount. So you saw how we could take advantage of other tabs from the same form that we're working with. Or if you want to send it to another base, that's also possible. Well, that is how you automate your form submissions from JotForm to Airtable. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.